ladies and gentlemen from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Brought to you by Sean Porter Promotions. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Porterway Podcast. This is the original trio. Ant, Carson, Showtime, Sean P in the middle. Uh, welcome hey, to the look Porterway like Podcast. Wife. Look. <laughs> Does she? Uh, stay focused, okay? Because okay, I'm right, nervous. Right. I don't know why I'm yeah, nervous. Why, that, I, I think no that clue. also made me laugh a little bit before we started. <laughs> no, no. Um, I got gifts. And he got gifts. Oh, here, let me do this real quick. We have Blue Wire Studios inside the Wynn Hotel and Casino. And as all as as always, we want to thank the Win and the Blue Wire Studios for hosting the Portaway Podcast. We enjoy being here. We love being here, and we want to thank everybody for their hard work. Shout out to Hafey, who's yeah, still recovering from absolutely. uh from his heart surgery. Um, he was blessed enough to get through that, and now he's asking to come back sooner than expected. Tell him to and relax. I told him relax. I told him I wasn't happy. Lay about down. That, but. He wasn't happy about that. Um. Hey, hey, believe it or not, hey, Carson's still around the show, guys. Yeah, not going to make yeah. a big deal yeah. about Carson, Carson being here today. Well, Carson, oh, we Carson all... went from on-air talent to behind the scenes <laughs> talent. So we, we, it is kind of funny, so we can mention. So the two reasons that I'm here today, one is there's just a lot of boxing to talk about. So, you know, might be helpful that I can mm-hmm. direct us as, as needed. He's, and he's also, seen the struggles. <laughs> well, no, and also be, selfishly because I am stepping in in a role for – the aforementioned Ryan Hafey. Uh-huh. And so it'll actually selfishly make my job a little bit easier as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, help helping myself while also helping you gentlemen out with my... Are y'all ready for gifts? Contributions, uh, yeah. Can we do gifts after we do Ganache? Galanache. But Ga- uh, sure, Galanache. If, if he's ready to go. If he's ready to go. He's on right now. Okay, then let's do it. And I just, um, everybody, welcome to the Port Away Podcast. Francis Galanache, you guys have seen us uh, rebrand ourselves we brought a new logo to the Portaway podcast, and uh, Francis Galanachi was the uh, hands, the mind behind all of that. So we, I wanted this is something I had wanted to do on the 100th episode, actually, when we officially uh, introduced the new brand and the new logo. My guy, uh, and we weren't able to make that happen. So I said, you know what? On the busiest week <laughs> to do a show, let's get let's get Galanachi on here real quick for a good five to ten minutes and just uh, give him some love. And a lot of fans to see everything that you got going on. How you feeling, Francis? Thank you very much for having me here, man. All the way in England. I'm, good. I'm very good. What time is it over there right now? All the way. Right now, <laughs> it's about it's nine thirty. Okay. Oh, okay. Not not too too bad. Yeah, not too late. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. But I knew we needed to do so you good. first. First first things first uh, was to get you on and just kind of I wanted to show everybody. Uh, Kind of the 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 way you put the Portaway podcast together, uh, the the logo, and kind of just talk about that real quick. Get you in and get you out. Uh, can you tell everybody kind of your your mind set behind creating the new logo for us? So yeah, I actually got in touch with the the whole Portaway, Portaway podcast through Ant because he reached out because he saw the the artworks I was creating, mm-hmm. and I I knew that there was something. That could be done with the the previous logo. So I kind of just sent you guys a, a little sketch that I thought would be a good fit for the actual podcast, mm-hmm. a kind of rebrand for the logo. And then we kind of aligned with the, the vision and the, yeah. we, we got it done. Well, sure. One more time. Let's show it one and more it time. Looks this, amazing. Yeah, yeah, kind of the, the evolution of uh, our communications yeah. between when you first started it. And what it ended up being, and you know, I had you had me in it. And I said, "No, take me out." And you know, we kind of went back and forth, yeah. and then we figured out what we really wanted. And uh, I think it looks fantastic. And we wanted to really just kind of thank you and 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 have you on the podcast, my man, and just kind of show you some love for doing that for us. Absolutely. And then what it's a else? Pleasure. What else do you have going on right now? I know you got a lot going on. I see. I see some of it right there behind you. And on the shirt. Yeah. The- yeah. It's the- yeah. Hey, got the great. greatness shirt. Everybody so loving those. I just, thank you. No, I just love boxing. It's like the only sport I follow. And uh, I'm also into art. So I was like, you know, I might as well combine the two. So I have a project called uh, G the Fighter. And it basically explores boxing's greats, past, present, and future through digital art. And literally, this is basically the wall of greats I have behind me. It's It's like past fighters present fighters future fighters and i have about like 53 that i've fully drawn 
so yeah, I, I I love doing it. It's something that I want to keep on doing for I don't know for as long as I can, basically. Am Just I co- my way of wall. contributing to the sport? Am I yes, on you the are. wall? You are. Where am I? Oh, is that Absolutely. me right there? Nope, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, you was right that, on that. the left. Yeah. You're on the left. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah. do you do you have a, a goal? Do you have something you want to do with this artwork that you're doing right now? It's kind of like uh, posted up in your in your home. What what's the the big goal here? What's the dream, the vision? The, the goal, it's basically because with, with boxing, right, um, what I've noticed is there isn't really a library of, like, artworks that actually document fighters. And I think that was, like, what I thought was missing. So I was like, okay, let me put that upon my own hands to kind of start off. And I hope to kind of pretty much draw as many fighters as I can as as long as i can still draw yeah and that's basically the goal just to keep keep on drawing as many fighters as i can always, and to also push my own craft i always wonder when guys start doing that stuff you know on um on the computers and the laptops and things like that how did you mm-hmm. even like begin to get onto doing it you know uh digitally that's a good question actually because i actually started off uh, traditional so i I had another similar project where I drew uh, portraits of people's faces um, on an old diary using ink. And I did that for like a whole year. Like I had that on my other Instagram. You can literally see all of the drawings I did. I did one every single day for like a year. And I got an iPad and I liked that it was a lot easier and cleaner because you just have one one thing and everything's in there. Mm -hmm. So you don't need like pieces of paper here and there. It's all kind of like in that iPad and it just makes the workflow a lot better. And you could also watch the time lapse. So when I post these drawings on my Instagram, you could actually watch how I kind of like the process behind me drawing it. So I thought that was interesting to kind of share alongside the actual final artwork. Do you have a do you have a favorite do you have a favorite box you've drawn and don't say Sean? We'll exclude Sean <laughs> just for the purposes of this. I uh, no, actually I have um Stephen Fulton. Okay, cool boy stuff. Um, I think his one, it was re- I drew it really good. And that's by far my favorite uh, drawing so okay. far. Hey, uh, it's just the, the, I could show it. I could show it quick. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go you ahead, got quick. it. Got nothing on our hands but time. Okay. I don't know oh. if you can see that. That's not Steve Fulton. Is that Boots? That's Boots. Oh, no, this is an yeah, 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 yeah. you, you, you got, you got your black men mixed no, up. No, Philly guys. They're both Philly guys. Yeah, they're both Philly guys. Boots but that's a hell of a yeah, picture. That's my favorite one there. That's a good one. That's a hell of a picture. Hey, did, uh, when we asked Ryan to describe greatness, did he break it down for you like you really wanted it? Actually, it was perfect. It was like something that I had in mind as well. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that's literally, that's it. That's it. Resonated with that. Yeah, it's like everything's working out. You got you you getting some big names in the sports, man. You you're getting bigger names than Sean Porter. Yeah, slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah, hey, um, yeah. hey I know. No, yeah, and I also have Galanachi. Sean want to know uh, where his shirt at. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I didn't have his size, the one that I sent to you. Yeah, but now I got the new ones. Uh-huh. I have the size, and I'm planning to send one over. So okay, so. Keep an eye for that. Hey, man, before I get in trouble, this girl has been on my case about this. Vanessa wants to let everybody know she's the original person that started all this connection, which got my girlfriend to show me, and I showed Sean, and she started it all. So uh, shout out to Vanessa. Yeah, People yeah, always yeah. want credit. I, I know, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. And no, no, uh, she mentioned it, actually. She showed it to – she showed me the screenshot. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank oh, yeah, you she wanted her credit. I want to send yeah. a uh, T-shirt as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Make sure you reach out to Vanessa. <laughs> Lastly, uh, Galanachi, let everybody Absolutely. know where they can follow you and anybody who wants to contact you about some artwork or T-shirts, anything like that. Let everybody know where they can find you. Perfect. Um, you can contact me uh, at by Galanachi, so B-Y dot G-A-L-A-N-A-C-C-I, and that'll be on Instagram. Just send me a DM, and, yeah, we can take it from there. All right. Good deal. Well, man, hey, man, thanks for staying up for, with us. And uh, joining the Port Away podcast. Absolutely. Uh, I tell people all the time, man, if you do anything to help me, you are uh, an extension of my team. So yeah. you are definitely an extension of the Port Away. 
don't do anything over there Thank in you. England that 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 port that Sean Porter <laughs> wouldn't do. <laughs> No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, man. Hey, you know, Francis, if you ever I'm need me. I'm representing greatness. All right. There if you, you ever need me, just hit me. You know, I got you. Absolutely. All right, man. All Thank love. Thank you. No All right, problem. my man. Thanks, man. Have a good Cheers night. All right. You guys. Peace. Later. Peace. All right. Take care. Right, right there, man. Did it get lighter in here? Did I have some kind of a. I don't know. Did I have some kind of an eye issue? It got lighter, right? No, no, no. Did it know? No, I, I think you got baptized while you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> like my pupils were dilated or something. What does that have to do with it? Dog, my pee don't like sleeping. I don't know. Oh my. <laughs> That's yeah, another way. That. Hey, hey well, yeah, 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 you got Oh, those. snap. I wasn't able oh, to. I wasn't oh, able to. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I was doing Let's move this. Let's move this. I wasn't even able to see it. I wasn't even able to see it. Yet. All right, god dang it. So, you know, we got the Portal no, 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 Portal Way merch coming and, uh, you know, another level of Portal Way podcast. Is this going to be on the Portal Way Bam! They're ready to go. They're not ready to be used. Sean, so you can't use it, but you can set it up. Oh, there. yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. Oh, They've been sitting in my garage for two weeks. Can't ah. use that. Yeah, so we got the Portaway Podcast uh, uh, cups now. We got oh, cups go. now, baby. Bam! Go away, uh, PortawayPodcast.com. PortaWay.com. PortaWay.com to grab the new cups. There you go. So we got the mugs. Hey, Renee, this is yours. I have some. I have more at home also. I have more at home. The, the producers, the directors, they, they all have got one, one too. Not okay. familiar. You got to hit them with the bam. Okay, bam. bam. Is it upside That's down? That's emerald. Emerald. No, I wasn't. Uh, I, bam! I was hoping you were nervous enough that you think that's, it'd be upside down. You guys both. What is that? It. Funky fingers production? No, that's that's, uh, that's emeralds. No, I'm saying live a color. Hey, go put one of these in front of Carson. <laughs> he ain't gonna. Use, no, yeah, no, you can put I'm one not, over here. This one oh, think I'm. You, you thought you were cheers? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, see, they got him to do it though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Renee, that's yours. Brand. Okay. So is this on the? Uh, this is on the on the uh, yeah. on the, on the merch. Yeah, it's already on there. Merch. We got. I got a couple more at home. I gave some to the. Why you clean it out? Uh, I'm not doing all that. You want to use it right now, huh? Yes. And, but let's be honest, though. You see how hyped but, that guy? But let's be honest. <laughs> if he had cleaned it out and you got home, you still were going to clean it out. Because people do that. Yeah. Like, if you get something from the store, it's clearly been cleaned. Hey, well, I was going to use it this very yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, hey, I much. thought about it, Sean, and I said, nah, I'm not doing it. I was yeah. going to go back in the house and clean them. But there, I still have about another 10 more at the house. Please, and please don't clean it, because I thought for a second you were going to, like, swish the water around and then dump it out. <laughs> and dump it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, I can't do that in here. Shout out yeah. to our guy, yeah, Dane. We, we're not allowed to have anything open yeah. in here. Oh, so. oh, we can't even use this, so it's just yeah. for looks. So, yeah. like, the Steve, or like, yeah. back in the day when they look, I don't fake, bite it. Fake like they don't uh, drink something and they don't? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Oh, let me get my drink off there. Yeah, I was going to say, we both actually took a drink <laughs> there. But, yeah, hey, shout out to Dane. He got it done. Hey, man, he surprised me. They came in. I was hyped. I was Shout hyped like the, you was uh, hyped. The, webs, the website, portaway.com. Portaway.com. Uh, portaway.com. You can get, you can get uh, the shirts, the hats, the uh, mugs. We got everything on there. The hoodies. We, you know, Portaway is getting cold. So yeah, just threw the cold. producers a, a nice little curveball, as I like to do. Uh -oh. So we, I don't think we're going to do it right now. Uh oh, We're not ready for it yet. Uh oh No, no. Yeah, no biggie. We'll get it at the uh, near the end. Um, but I wanted to expose what we've been doing with the amateur boxing champions. We okay. went out to Colorado Springs. And I didn't realize this, but we were literally, what we have are the, the future 2024 Olympians who have been selected already to be on the next Olympic team. So we were able to get those guys and, and a few other women as well. And uh, we'll, we'll expose that near the, near the end of the show. But Carson, do yeah. your job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're back. That's hey, unbelievable. Hey, it's like, Don't say that. Don't say that. No, <laughs> no, he's back. No, we'll nah, clarify. No, nah, he's back. Just for today. No. Nah, um, <laughs> Yeah, I guess you usually we based on my my tenure here. Oh no, wait. Okay, the uh, what yeah. Do you think? Um, no, we'll go back. So we'll do it at the end. Okay, we'll do it at the all, end. Right, all right. Usually we go chronologically. So I don't even know what that word means. So, so we'll, <laughs> give me another one. So we can also based on how the time, which also okay. chronologically might. So we're gonna start to finish. Yeah, is that what you're so trying to we'll say. We'll go. We'll go showtime. <laughs> do we want to? Do we want to touch on Connor Ben Eubank? Not uh, happening. I Not even think about I'm it. With a little bit, it's on my list. Yeah. So it didn't happen. Um, Connor Ben failed a test, drug yeah. test. Um, what these situations do is they make a lot of people look funny that have very definitive statements in the past. Mm -hmm. A lot of like this you question mark of like old interviews of Eddie Hearn, like, oh, you know, if you fail a test, no way you should fight. And then it's like, well, wait a second. Yo guy. Yeah. So it, it puts people in these funny circumstances. Connor Ben had an interview kind of expressing a similar sentiment. Um, you know how I feel about performance enhancing drugs, so I don't think the fight should happen, and it didn't. Any, Any overall thoughts from you guys? Uh, why do you feel about Conor Ben? I know you, you wasn't. Uh, what was I'm you? Okay. You was I'm, on the border, yeah, yeah, okay, but now man. I know when somebody crossed the yeah, thing with Carson, yeah, you crossed the yeah. street with Carson, you ain't never coming back. <laughs> That's one thing about Carson. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it also, 
at some point, somebody is going to fail one of these PED tests, and they're going to be like, you know what? I was cheating. Mm -hmm. I tried it. Somebody. Yeah, but somebody. usually it's like, yo, it was crazy. You know, uh, I think a dog sneezed once, and then I, that, that might have had something on it. But, yeah, it's just, I don't know. And, and it wasn't because he's fighting a, a bigger fighter that he felt like he needed this, or do you feel like he was on it for a while? I don't know. I have no clue. I don't want to speculate on it. Hey, I, I'm not going to touch that. But I mean, I, he, he got caught. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. that's a fact. Yeah. Um, well, that's how you answer it like this. I mean, mm -hmm. he got very explosive relatively quickly yeah. in the game. And then, of course, you can look at the the opponents that he was matched up against and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Um, not to speculate about the past, but then let's just talk about now moving forward. How do you handle this moving forward? Yeah. Mm. Um, and 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 I know that there's a lot of things where there's, so there's Wada, there's Vada, and then there's um, Usada. Usada. Yeah. And so so those are the the big doping agency. Everybody wants to be the one. Yeah. They want to be the one for all of the uh, all of the combat sports out there. So you got they're they're always hating on each other. Yeah. Yeah. And you allow this, and we yeah. we wouldn't allow that, so on and so forth. So I don't even know who was involved, but what I do believe is that. There needs to be, they need to be working together. And, and I know it's a, it's a big, big ask yeah. for one co company especially in boxing. To, to work with another company, especially in boxing. But boxing just needs to be, there used to be, there, there needs to be more unity in the mm -hmm. sport. If you yes. have more unity in the sport and you have the, everybody pushing the same objective and mm -hmm. same goals, you catch that much sooner than the, yeah. the week of. Well, so mm -hmm. I think it actually was caught a little bit earlier than it was announced. But then, obviously, you get to fight week, so then it's going to come out. And I, I don't know. The whole thing's a mess. Yeah. Um, I'm glad the fight didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. Eubank. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the fight was interesting itself, kind of stylistically, weight-wise. And so Eubank was going to be coming down in weight to a weight he never fights at. And yeah. then, obviously, you have that. He he showed. He, he made, made, made the weight. Yeah. So, um, if anyone comes out looking good on this, it's Eubank Jr. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. But, um, yeah, don't like to see it for Conor Ben. He gets no – he's not going to get any sympathy going forward for any missteps. Nah. You have, now you have kind of lost the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't think we need to touch extensively on that. And then yesterday, showtime. Big boy? Yeah. Um, Martinez won again yeah. against Ancajas. We saw him win the first time, all three of us mm -hmm. in person. I like him, Martinez. Martinez, yeah. But when I'm watching Martinez, I'm just like shaking my head. And I'm so grateful that my dad kind of, <laughs> he connected the dots. A lot of fighters know how to be aggressive, but they don't know how to move their feet. They don't know how to punch with their hands while they move. They don't know how to cut off the ring and move their head and slip and, and stay safe. And, and all of these things, a lot of people talked about the way that I fought was very aggressive and it was ugly. And it was, you know, all, all these different things. Fight said, like and you're drowning. I think. I think near the end, people started to really appreciate what I was doing in the ring. But yeah. the main thing, if you go take a look back at my aggressive uh, approach to, to in boxing with anybody that I fought, some of those guys I did, you know, take some straight on uh, head, head collisions, some straight on punches, walked into some shots and things like that. I personally had to make mental adjustments, but watch my feet. Yeah. Watch the way I got to these guys. Watch, watch how orthodox i looked and mm -hmm. and, and opposed to being unorthodox so i really like martinez but i think that when he runs into a guy who can move backwards and punch going backwards it's going to be some trouble for him uh, at 115 there's no telling when that's going to happen for him but along the way he's super fun to watch i know you're you're really big on bam mm -hmm. and that's bam's weight class yeah well, um, there's also another guy at 115 i'm pretty fond of but. Yeah. oh is that yeah. uh yeah. Say, yeah yeah um but I think that he definitely has solidified himself as an as an elite 115 and, pound fighter. And that fight, maybe I'm misremembering. I don't. He dominated when we that, saw. He it dominated out here. the fight yeah, that we went yeah, to. Yeah. We and then it was. And, and then so it we was, were all. And I remember at the time there was like talk about rematch, and we were like, mm, like I guess. But Ancas was like the longest reigning champion, so like you get probably get that benefit. Yeah. But what yeah. do you think, Ant Martinez? Uh, you know, Sean always talked about the feet. Somebody broke it down to me one time. They said. Hey, some y'all always talk about people's feet. Some people just ain't coordinated. Yeah. Some people don't can't bring the feet no. together with the with no. the hands. You aren't you aren't taught. You feel like you some people can it. be taught that? I, I feel like you can be taught how to be more coordinated. Uh you can be taught how to step. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that's the difference between like a running back. You got you got the the, the step cut and then you got the jump cut. You know what I mean? You you got the 
it's all in rhythm yeah. and that rhythm is taught to you of course all of it, a lot of it is natural as well but you take what's natural and this mm-hmm. is the thing that i really love about boxing is, is is boxing is all about kind of um defeating uh nature mm-hmm. so so like the way that i'm taught the box is you like you kind of you are, you're on an angle and your feet are kind of pointing forward yeah but if your body's on an angle your feet are supposed to be that way so you kind of have to defeat nature and you know everything so that's what boxing is so in that case you just have to be taught how to be taught the things that you don't that you aren't that you don't naturally do and and sean you know boxers is their dna at the end of the day you can try to do something we've seen a lot of fighters try to do something second third round they go back to what they did so calvin ford told there's very few boxers i'll give Floyd Mayweather, he went from pretty boy Floyd, will knock you out to I'm gonna be super counter defense. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you change you, it's very few of you guys. You change your way at the end of your yeah. career too. Yeah. But a lot of it's hard for you guys. What is it? Just hard for to accept that? Or how like cause you did it. But a lot of people, you know, I, two or three rounds in, you're like, I'm going back to Sean Porter. I'm a dad, bully ball. And my yeah. dad definitely, my dad was like, hey, uh, we, we're not gonna keep taking these punches. We're gonna make sure that you're able to do whatever you need to do in the ring uh-huh. to be successful, whether that's moving mm-hmm. in and out, using the ring, or being aggressive. So my dad showed me multiple styles as a kid, but then when I got older as a professional, he's like, hey, we ain't taking no more shots. You need to protect yourself, yeah. blah, 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 blah. He made me accept what I needed to do. Okay. Floyd, everybody talks about him having hurt her hands and not being able to be as aggressive as he accepted the fact that I can't punch that hard. I can't go after guys the way I used to, so I have to do the things to be safe in the ring and still be successful. So with Martinez, so. he's he's still he's still winning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So does would can you can they get him to accept that you need to adjust with your feet? Well, somebody, somebody sure. Also, somebody also has to force you to do it. Well, like, like yesterday, if you can win like that, we're gonna take it. Yeah, let's get out of here. What yeah. are you, saying? you you have to identify. You know, again, there's there's not a whole bunch of Kenny Porters out there. There's not um like, you Roger know, Mayweather. There's not a whole bunch of Rod, Roger Mayweathers out there. Yeah. You know, and 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 Floyd Seniors out there. Yeah. You know, so you have to be able to identify it, but then you also have to have the tools to 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 change it and, and adapt and things like that. Yeah. No knock on the kid, but yeah, yeah. just while I'm watching the fight, I'm like, this kid's exciting. If he could get his feet in better position and and, and not lunge as much as he does, so on yeah. and so forth. Some of the things that I had to fight through as well as a fighter was get you, get you, get you, and then I had to calm down and say, you know, hey, you can't you can't get you, get you, get you every fight yeah. because when that time it doesn't. You end up with a Kell Brook situation. Yeah, you know what I mean? he's a, he's a tough Shout night. Shout out to Kell Brook. Yeah, Shout absolutely. out to Kell. He's a tough night for anybody. That's for sure. Yeah. Martinez um, holding on to the title. Yeah, and then going into the next one <laughs> was Adamas. Yeah, was, it, was, Adam, was Adamas next? Yeah, Adamas and Montiel. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Knockout, knockout win for Adamas. Yeah, yeah. I'd seen Montiel fight before. Just let me defend myself. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we fought I'd, Charlo. I'd seen him no before before he fought Charlo. Okay, and I'd seen him take some like. I'm not gonna say it. Pretty good shots. Yeah, yeah. And come back and, f- and floor some guys. Yeah. And I'd seen that from him. So <laughs> I knew what was gonna happen. And I probably should have just I got excited. And I probably should so I text Ant and I was like, Montiel's gonna knock out the down. Three minutes before possibly. Probably <laughs> less than three minutes before it happens. I mean, it's the same hey, Carson, round that he gets I'm knocked saying, out in. Are you sure? Or something like that. It was maybe more like a minute. Yeah. As soon as he sent the te- text, he started taking shots. I said. All right. I, I knew. The, I knew. So I knew the firefight was gonna come. Yeah. And, and when I knew, and when the firefight came, I thought Mattel was gonna <laughs> stand in there, take something, and give something. And and I just I had seen it before. I was dead wrong. And he'll come out um, on top in that moment. Yeah. yeah. And Adamus just he turned it up. A firefight yeah. is almost guaranteed when Adamus is in the ring. Yeah. At some yeah. point, there's gonna be some bombs thrown. Um, I like him. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I, if if I remember correctly. So his only he has a loss, which I think people have kind of uh, forgot. He lost to Teixeira, for sure. And I mm-hmm. think it was because he gassed out. Okay. I think, yeah, that's how I remember that. Okay. Just not which, good condition. Which kind of it, it doesn't bother me, but it's like if he just didn't gas out against Teixeira. If he just didn't gas out, but then like take a look at the firefight that happens in the third ish round. round. Yeah. How if 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 Montiel doesn't take those shots at that moment. Gets, if he, if they both get through that moment, yeah. how strong is he going to be throughout the fight? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so he is a kind of a a little bit of a front runner. It's very exciting, but he's right there. He and was I, able to capitalize and finish and his fight because the last I think it was the last fight we saw from Adamas before yesterday was against Drevianchenko, mm-hmm. which yeah. was kind of similar. It started out like really heavy shots, and we were all like, 
Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then it exactly. kind of tailed off a little bit, but exactly. he's a problem, Adamus. Absolutely. Yeah. We like seeing him in there with somebody. Anybody you were thinking specifically? Top guy. I mean, you throwing him straight to Charlo? Top guy. You going straight to Charlo? Why not? Why not? I mean, he beat the guy that gave Charlo what twelve tough ones. Yeah. 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 Uh, Montiel is just such a awkward fighter. Yeah. So I'm not sure how much I hold it against Charlo that he didn't get him out of there because right. I, I saw some of that yesterday. Like, right. Well, Charlo didn't stop him. Look yeah, what Adamus yeah, did. Yeah. It's like, well, they're different fighters. Right. Montiel was a different fighter that day than he was right. yesterday. Not to knock Adamus, but right. it's not apples to apples. And I think we just keep trying to find. Uh, shout out to the Charlos. We always trying to find a point yeah. for those guys. And we'll get to the other one because <laughs> hey. because it is. We're always like. What if, I think he Char- could test them, yeah. and then it's like, eh. yeah, and man. then he, and then he smokes them. And we're like, yeah, it's like, all right, Charlos, what about this guy, yeah, shout out to the Charlos, man. <laughs> yeah. They be getting, hey, hope his back feels better. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know who I would like if there's a name that comes to mind for Adamus. I would just like to see him uh, continue on. Big, big year for Dominican boxing, though. He's yeah. another guy holding it down for the for the DR. Um, all that coming, man. Where I, you know, I said this some weeks ago that you know, there's there's some Dominican fighters out there that are gonna make some noise and. And I think Hendry um, is Hendry's brother, Renee. Can you confirm that? Is he making his pro debut, Yuri? At 168. His brother? Yeah. 168. I think he's making a pro debut soon. Yeah. Shout out to La Bazooka. Here in Vegas. But Here in town. The, uh, no, we don't know what Renee's saying. Yeah, but the, uh, Renee's a bomb. Yeah. But no, <laughs> definitely. Ladies, Renee's a bomb. Definitely, <laughs> definitely exciting for, <laughs> for the Dominican boxing fans getting to appreciate that. And then main event. Uh oh. Tower hey, and Inferno. Hey. I was watching that fight. I said, oh, Car- Carson is loving this. He's fighting from the outside, using the jab. And then halfway through, he said, F this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rumble, baby. So I was, full disclosure, okay. I was, I had it on, but I wasn't, like, locked uh, in. There was also baseball was on, playoff baseball, which we'll move. lightly touch on. No, we're point. not. But we're not baseball. So I will, for oh, sure. Okay. Guardians, baby. Come yeah, on now. Guardians facing the Yankees. But the... Uh, yeah, so I That's was right also a lot of Jack, a lot of, lot of, <laughs> lot of, lot of Jack Reese was the uh, was the takeaway hey. from on social media from what I saw. A lot of, lot of Jack really? Reese involvement. I, Sean, hey, my man said, "What well, some round?" So they spilled right ten yeah. seconds before the round started. They they spilled some water in uh, Ocampo corner. Hey, he said, "Time, time." He went. He went to, to somebody in the commission, commission or something. He yeah. said. I won't take a point, but we will take his half, uh, find his purse. Yeah. Dang, so find him. Yeah, he said we can't, find yeah, he said we couldn't Dang, take points. Dang, yeah. yeah. But, then, but then at some point he, and this is what I didn't hear personally, but they said he was saying something to Campbell about punching harder in the corner. Yeah, that he I was like, that one too. It, was, it seemed like he was just a little bit more involved than you would like to see. I remember you again. text me saying he was slapping a lot. Yeah. 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 But. Yeah. Um, that, not to harp on Jack Reese, but I just heard he was a little bit more of a focal point than people hell, appreciated. Hell of a ref. Yeah, yeah he's been ref. around for a while. But yeah. overall thoughts on the fight, SP? Um, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I, he fought. He fought go, long. Go he fought long <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, yeah he first. fought long, and I just I never seen I, that side of him. No, and I I think. I'm I'm brief today about uh about that fight. I, okay. I just think that we got the Fundora we were expecting. Mm-hmm. We got the Fundora who is just really exciting and something that Ant texted to me while while the fight was happening. He said, "I think did you say he needs to knock out Ocampo?" Yeah, yeah. And I said, "No, to he doesn't." I said, yeah. "He doesn't need to knock out Ocampo." Mm-hmm. Oh, you say he needs to, to make to, a statement to get uh Charlo's attention. Okay. Yeah, he said gotcha. he needs to make a statement. I said, "No, he doesn't." He he made a statement in his very last fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This fight is a yeah. Kind of a stay busy fight. Yes, it's a, 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 a defense, but you're, we're going to get from this fight what we know about mm-hmm. uh, fun door. We're going to get fun. Uh, no Don't, pun. I, 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 I was about to say. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, shout out to Zatel. He texted me that yesterday. And I said, uh, no, oh, you're a bomb. So, but that, but that's what we get from him. We just get a lot of a lot of punches. Yeah. We get excitement, and he takes them too. Uh, of course, we want his his defense to improve, <laughs> but I mean, I just think that we got this the fun door that we we're expecting. Yeah. Good fight. Okay. Ant, any uh, thoughts? I mean, that's it. Uh will Fundora get Charlo? That's the question. Yeah, let, we can we can pivot that way. What uh what would you like to see next? Uh would Tim you like Zoo? to see Charlo next? And I'm not sure the chug I'll, was necessary. Yeah, okay. I, I take I, I'll, I'm, I don't know. I, don't, I always say I want Charlo, but then I see just Charlo just clipping him. He gets no matter what you can say about Fundora, he gets hit a lot. Yeah. And that you and can't do that against Charlo. Clean a lot. Uh yeah, you do that against Charlo. Curtains. That's a that's a tall task for Charlo, but I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at I you guys, you guys, you guys really developed into something. <laughs> he got that from me. Did he? Okay. <laughs> no, I did. 
<laughs> All right, whatever. So I would love to see a Tim, Tim, Tim Zoo, uh, Brian Castano, Tony Harris. I'm here for all three of those. And maybe the winner get a Charlo. I mean, not Brian. Uh, SP. Castano would be a tough night for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good fight. That'd be a good fight. Yeah, I think all be a tough of night the, for him. I think now Fandora is going to start getting into um, – Quality matchups where he's going to be really tested in, in, in the kind of like he was in the really Lubin fight. Yeah, he was tested really a little bit yesterday, but yeah. not as much. Like the Lubin yeah, sure. fight yeah. for a minute, you got to get off like, oh, sure. the ground. Hey, Car- sure. If you if you go back and watch that fight, Carson's to the right of the uh, that is camera. So, it is so funny. in the red. Did we wow. talk about that? Uh-uh. <laughs> I, so I literally so on the highlight of so Fandora goes down. And you see me get up like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was waiting for it. And then oh, okay. he was, he was. Yeah, it is I hilarious. Wasn't there. It, y'all was at the fight. Yeah, I was, was watching. I'm like, bro, who is that in the yeah. red? Yeah, I was like, I was like, come <laughs> on. But yeah, that was funny. But um, you can't have roof, help, help a roof for him. He is a, he's a fun <laughs> fighter to watch and really good dude outside the ring. Yeah. Really yeah. Good kid. Yeah. What, um, so you, I think, you think maybe match up with I I don't I don't, I don't mind anyone on that list. It doesn't matter yeah. what we like say. Castano, so. Harrison, does it? Um, Castano. Yeah, it matters. Or people just yeah. No, we, we'll, we'll big we'll be, big staple in the boxing. Well, game. yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I was gonna say if he if he doesn't like if his next fight is and not to discredit Ocampo, but if his next fight is another on Ocampo's level, we're kind of like, are you gonna be ready for Charlo after you fight this guy, or mm-hmm. are you just? Fighting to fight. You got you to gotta take steps up. Uh, probably Ocampo was probably just who was next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I, don't, I have no doubt that they're going to move him. Uh, he's went Samson. Uh, is that Samson's boxing? Samson boxing? Yeah, I think Samson boxing. Yeah. Uh, he's with those with 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 Samson and Samson don't play. He uh, he puts all of his fighters in the right positions. So yeah. shout out so, to Samson. Yeah, I'd like to see like see a test for him. I don't. I mean, I'm not sure this is a hot take. I don't think he beats Charlo now or really any time in the near future, but it's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, he's going to be in a fun fight all the time. Fun Dora, fun fun fights. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then so this coming week, I think there's actually 75 boxing cards. This, <laughs> Carson? Oh, What's 75 what? fights? Or yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, come on, Carson. No, yeah, so, we, so we'll talk about a few of them, but there – so I was looking through. And I was there's, like, a, there's a lot. Another of, one? Another one? There's like – How many fights is in, pay-per-view? Don't tell me all these fights no, are pay-per-view. Just, I think just one. I think just a Wilder fight. All of them are free? Yeah. And I think they're actually both on ESPN. Yeah, they're both but on But then ESPN. there's like, there's also a different one in Australia. Then there's one in, in England. How are we doing on times? Like, we'll that get a question. Yeah. You guys will be gone. You guys will be in New York. So it's going to be a whole yeah. different time zone you guys are worried about. Sheesh. Yeah. Where do you have, um, so I know you guys talked about Clarissa and um, Savannah and then yeah. obviously Alicia and, and Michaela previously. Any Anything... Actually, let's do this. Do you think the layoff impacted anyone specifically? I hope not. Um, okay. What you have to do as a fighter and, and the team is just adjust the program. Uh, our program was ending. Now mm-hmm. we just kind of dial back a little bit and find ourselves where we need to be. So at the, at that point where everything was postponed, it should be still kind of a coasting situation a few days where you may turn up the heat a little bit yeah. but you're at a point now where you're coasting of course you're still watching the weight and things like that but i i would hope that these women uh just kind of the entire card uh in full it just kind of learn or knew how to make those adjustments and the last thing i'll say about it is what we talked about a couple of weeks ago when that fight was supposed to happen is boxing is about moments and i just wonder it's, you know, it's, it's unknown, yeah. but you just kind of wonder whose moment that was a few weeks ago, yeah. and then now whose moment is going to be this week. So I, I think the main thing though is the fire, is, the the blood is still boiling for for, yeah. for the main I think event. That's, the I think that's helpful that there's a rivalry and there's yeah. and there's both. like kind of hatred that keeps in both you invested. Of them. Trust so me, nobody's I've been there like, eh. yeah. I've been so. there before. When the fight gets postponed, it's like, eh, what 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 is this? What is this for? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just kind of have you have laws. But that's and definitely think, something that's gonna keep that. Yeah, I think the fact that there's You're rivalries that, there. I mean, you can just say Keith Thurman, Keith. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, you had one fight that was postponed. I was I'm like, aware of. No, well, yeah, that you're aware of. Yeah, you know? and yeah. then and then you got in there with. Uh, uh, Leonardo Tyner in an exhibition. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was a good time. Yeah, yeah. He, he was lit. Car- he lit Sean up in the exhibition. <laughs> but he Did was talking. No, he was he was talking trash to everybody. He was talking trash to people in the crowd. That was quite yeah, a time. Yeah, 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 that was a good um, time. What were you gonna say? Uh, I, I, with this layoff, I think this shows which which one of those girls, women, is a true professional. Yeah. When they say you live boxing in and out of the ring, st- stuff like this will show. Like yeah. if you, 
Like, to, oh, oh I'm just going to go chill for a week? Weeks. Nah, hell no. Nah. I just can't yeah. imagine the co-main or the main yeah. doing if, that. If you have any little bit of yeah. not being a professional at all times, yeah. so you know, at the end of the day, I mean, guys get to the top level, they still don't take it serious as some guys yeah. at the top This level. is a fight y'all want to like tune that into shows. because, as I've said before, these women are very professional. Top level. Co-main and the main. Mm -hmm. we're, you're right. We're about to find out just how professional they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got I got no doubt. This is going to be a down in my car. Who you have for both of those? Yeah. I'm going with I got a uh, uh let me go with I got Clarissa. Yep. Uh, in that one. I mean, this this, this Alicia Michaela fight. It's 50-50. Yeah, that's a that's a tougher one. Oh for me to man. Uh, I mean, I'm oh man. Uh I'm going to go with Alicia. 51%. Okay. okay. SP, you gonna... yeah, that makes sense. Uh, exact tough. same. Uh, I'm not gonna put a percentage on it, but I do okay. think that Alicia will win over uh, over Kayla. Mayor. Kayla. And then, um, yeah, I got Clarissa, Clarissa Shields. Yeah. Carson, I, same thing. Oh, you got uh, Midwest all day. Clarissa Shields. Yeah. You know, Flint, Fly City. Okay. What about? And then uh, Lisa is from uh, Toledo, Toledo, what, Ohio. Uh, Anna Michaela then, from Michigan. Is she from Michigan? I don't know. I don't know. I think she's from California. Oh yeah, you're right. She is. But Michaela's from. Yeah, yeah right. but I also, I mean, I, I didn't pick them based on that. It just works out well. Sound like it did. It just works people, out that way. But, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think, I, I honestly, both of those fights are going to be super, super good. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think, I don't think it will have lost momentum. I think, if anything, once we get in there and, sure. and see it happening, sure, we're going to be like that. Because okay. this whole week is going to kind of what, yeah, remind everybody wild, what's going on. Wild yeah. statement. Girls going to win tonight. It's uh, absolutely hey, possible. Because we, we know one fight ain't going to win nothing. A sparring match. We got a sparring match, too. Hey, let, slow down. Slow down. I'm oh, working. No. I'm working. I, you're no, not no, working no. that fight. No, I, you're not I working. Know what he's you're not, you're about. not going working. You're not going underground. Yeah. Oh, okay. down you're not under. going that, oh. down under. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I just, I knew Fraggle Rock? I knew it was something. So um, I just threw it out there. I and, knew I was and we, wrong. And, and we really don't need to elaborate much on that one. So the um, go ahead. I don't know if you know what fight we're talking about. I don't. Bro, you are not prepared, bro. So. I am prepared. You so, talking about Cambosis yeah. and, so, yeah. so that, and so Haney. The, yeah. So the mayor and, and Baumgartner, <laughs> that is also on ESPN+. Plus. And then also on ESPN+, Plus, I think maybe later, will be um, the Maloney brothers are both fighting on the undercard, and then Cambosis and Haney again. Man, I really wish we didn't have to have Devin have to fight this again. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to, De hey, shout out to Devin real quick. getting a $3 million payday to, for Hold sparring. On. Yeah, here. What, what, what? I, cause I, cause I want everybody to see this right quick. You caught something? This, no, 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 no. This, this rematch is gonna be better than the first fight. I think everybody felt like the first I one was. Know, Listen to me, right okay. there, right there is where this fight is, needs to be controlled. It was controlled by Devin in the first fight. That mid range, yeah. controlled by Devin the entire fight. I don't believe that Cambosis is gonna just sit back the way that he did in the first fight. I don't think he's going to hold his arms out and just wait and allow Devin to well, box. Well, we just watched Sean was the second round. Once Devin figured him out, he went in cruise control. I know. And and, okay. and so did Cambosis. Cambosis cannot afford to go in, 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 uh, in, in cruise control. He's going to fight more than he fought. I know we're seeing just the second yeah. round. But what I'm saying is right there is where mm -hmm. that fight for Devin. Has to he has to continue to control it but, the way oh, that he okay. did the first fight. I believe that Cambosis is going to have a little fire under his and ass. Turn it up. He's, He's going to turn, turn it up, and it's going to be a much Spartan more competitive blood. fight. I don't give a damn about the Spartan blood anymore. Okay, I'm okay. past that. <laughs> I just know that it's going to be a more competitive fight. I still have Devin Haney winning. Yes. But I think Devin's going to have to go through some fire to get okay. this. Okay, and I would love that because and you want it. That's what you want to see. That's what I want because that's I don't think I'm getting it. it. What you thought you were going to get in the first fight, you're getting in the second fight. I thought what happened in the first fight. Sean, you a, first fight. A, you're a hell of a seller. I got to I gotta be. I know. You, you'll be selling stuff, boy. I, I said, yeah. come on, now. I almost thought about it. I almost so thought about it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm wondering if it, you mentioned that, that Devin kind of went on cruise control and that at Cambosis did. I, I'm not sure if that's a good thing for Cambosis. <laughs> like, oh. did you go on cruise control? Like, And that, I think he was I'm forced into touch, cruise control. That's what I'm forced saying. Forced into cruise yeah. control. But when you've seen somebody speed and you've seen the way they move and things like that, and I'm not saying by any means that uh, Cambosis has learned Devin yeah. to a T, but what I do think is that Cambosis had, has had an opportunity to feel it and see it mm -hmm. and will be able to adjust to it. I think the flip-flop. So I think, I don't think him knowing Devin better helps him as much as Devin knowing him better helps yes. Devin. Because yes. I think now Devin is going to, even if even if Cambosis does pump the heat up, which is what we all were like, go, 
go do it. Like you're but just the, you're getting the, outboxed. But here. the difference is the difference is Devin didn't have to fight through that in the first fight. He Devin had his had his rhythm, had his timing, uh, was just in the zone from beginning to end, and nothing nothing that Cambosis did disrupted it. So now you have a little dis. You're gonna have disruption in this rematch. He stops him. I, I just don't think I, Devin I, stops him this time. And I don't think. Come on now, hey, if Devin I, stops him, I think he stops him. That's that's because I, do I, I don't think Devin kids. can stop him, but I think Devin has more tools in his bags, so he can show us even a more dominant performance. I think Cambosis, if he if he does, which if, just my personal thing, if Cambosis, you have to you have to turn it up. It's I don't. You, like, from the this jump. Is, like you have to. Uh, so if you if he goes out there and has another performance like the first one, that's that's gonna be tough to stomach. Yeah. But I think he does try to try to turn it up, and I think Devin catches him, knocks him out. And I can see if he has another performance like that. Well, do we even want to see him again? That would be tough. That would that's that would, hard. That's that's back to back. Maybe you can do in, like in Pandora Australia and Joe Horn. Jo- Jeff Horn. Jo- always call. Oh, Joe Horn. Yeah, shout out to Joe Horn. Yeah, um, <laughs> but maybe you could fight down. Yeah, under. down under. Yeah, you All got right, it. Down under. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Down well, under, but maybe it's a situation where we see the best Cambosis. Yeah, hey, and we Sean see a, and we see a superb fight. and we see a superb Devin Haney. Okay, and and we're like, well, shoot, you know, at the at some sometimes at the end of a fight, both guys are able to raise their hands, even I, though one technically gets. I hand. certainly hope that that's what happens. I got I a, I got a techno knockout. Cambosis. The ref stops it. Okay, like you're just getting beaten. Yeah, Ooh, I got Devin. Yeah, I hope I hope we see the a improved performance from Cambosis, which allows Devin to even increase his levels. A hey, bit. fans, uh, who you guys got? Let us know in the comments. Also, yeah. let us know who you, who you got in the girls' fights. Yeah, yeah, let us know in Alicia, yeah, uh, uh, yeah Clarissa, yeah. Savannah, and Michaela and Alicia. Check yeah. this out real quick. Yeah, uh, Haney is a counter puncher by nature. Mm-hmm. Counter punchers. Um, their 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 performance is predicated upon how performance. offensive mm-hmm. the guy they're going against. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Haney is great because he can he can he doesn't need you to be offensive in order for him to get off. He can still get off on the outside. So mm-hmm. what I'm saying is an improved Cambosis is gonna make an improved Haney. 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 I got gotcha. you. Great fight. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so in, I thought you might be working that one based on that cell. Yeah, that was. So the, the I'm right, that's, that's, that's why we're now on the same flight. So the we're going that, down yeah. under. So the card, <laughs> that you're, up? the card that you're actually working um, is uh, Fox Pay Per View. Yeah. Out there in New York. Um, I'm trying to think going through the undercard. So Vito Malnicki fights. Yeah. Uh, Frank Sanchez is back. Vito! Um, yeah, Gary Antonio. What was it called? Where was it? No, not at all. Uh, Gary Antonio Russell. <laughs> Gary Antonio Russell, he, yeah. he's on there. He's so he's it's, fighting. It's, it's, it's um, a it's a, li- it's a, it's, yeah, it's a I mean, You card. got names, yeah. And when he's fighting, Russell brother. So he's fighting uh, Emmanuel Rodriguez, who he fought for about thirty seconds the first time. There was a head clash, blood mm. fight was over. Um, Rodriguez is a good fighter, but um, he got his only time he's been stopped is by in a way, which there's no shame in that. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to see Gary An- Gary Antonio back in there. Me right now, this the card. This yeah. the card. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, no? Cause you're working it. Yeah, yeah, he's working it. Okay. Make sure Any anything game. else um, before we go, co-main and main that that's standing out to you, individuals? Nah, uh, nah. Co-main and main. I think that's the that's the ones that's right okay. there. Let's talk about it. I'm look. I'm I'm looking forward to Ant Dog versus Plant. This is a really good fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ant Dog yeah. calling in in a second. Okay. All right. I mean, I mean we, we can we talk about it wait before. on him or to no. go. Uh, we can that? talk about it in transition in the no, it, I mean, if he's going to call in like in a second, sure. No, no, no. no okay. Second. Well, let's yeah. let's talk about it and then. We could double back. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back. You got to a good it. 20 minutes till he calls. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> a little bit more than a second. <laughs> yeah. um, so what are we thinking as far as um, really good matchup? What were the initial thoughts on, on Plant and Darrell? Initial thoughts. Uh, Darrell has to cut off the ring. Plant is not staying there to get hit. I know people always give him hell for that. Like, all you do is run. Hey, the, the game is the. Hit and not get hit, so yeah. he's definitely gonna move. Uh, cut off. Can can Ant Dog cut off the ring? That's my question. If Ant Dog can, and if Caleb if Caleb stays there in exchange, oh, we we might have a war on our hands. And I prefer that over Caleb just beating him in a twelve round decision, just boxing from the outside. Uh, I would love to see that, but I think I would love to uh, see a war. But I think Caleb just gonna jab him to death and jab him to a victory. But Ant Dog is not coming in there allowing that to happen. Um, hey man, hey man, I, hey man, say it. What? I might go with the upset. I might go with the upset. Yeah, we you both just got the same name. Both got the same name. 
<laughs> we, I Michelle, had somebody call me Ant Dog before. <laughs> I knew I forgot. Michelle Rivera also fights. Want to okay. note that as well. Okay, um, okay. I knew there was somebody I was forgetting. That's the Ali guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we, what are your initial thoughts there, SP? You're going with the upset, though. Yeah, I like that. I'm going with the upset. This one is um is 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 really close to the heart to the to the, to the heart for me. Uh, yeah. Obviously, knowing both guys, blah 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 blah. Um, but when I when I take put that aside and I just take take a look at it, um. Is it a 50-50 fight? I think so. Uh, I think the numbers and the activity of both gentlemen will make, will make you side with Caleb Plant. Mm -hmm. But I do think that Ant has a way of kind of controlling the ring and controlling the fighter and manipulating fighters from time to time. Um, haven't seen that as of late. And I'll go ahead and be open about this. Uh, last time I spoke with, with Ant was a couple of months ago when I said, yo, you... In order to win this, you you gotta you gotta kind of reinvent yourself. You gotta go back to the to the to to the old school. I said you, you need to go back and do things the way you used to do them. You have to be a young guy in order to 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 beat Caleb Plant because, and I'm not afraid to say this either. Uh, humongous fans of the Darrell brothers, no secret there. But I remember seeing these these guys, and especially when they turned pro, a young. Um, I, what is Caleb playing? I think Caleb's like 28 or, oh, or, or, or 30, 29, something like that. 28, 28. Yeah, I, I think he's 28. And and I said, you know what? I think that a 28-year-old and dog would, wouldn't have a problem with Caleb playing. Yeah. So uh, saying all that to say, I think that um, he's he's got to reinvent himself a little bit and kind of just come to the ring young, fresh, and ready to go for that world championship title that he says that he wants to go for. Um, How do you do that? At the end of the day, well... It's kind of a it's kind of a it's kind of a mental thing as well. I he's been in Florida for some time. No no knock or anything like that at all, but I I was just encouraging him to go back to Flint. Like kind of go back to your grassroots where it all started. Rake some leaves. You I feel see, like I feel like leaf raking <laughs> Midwest stuff. You see that stuff and it kind of becomes a part of you when you get yeah. reminded. You know what I mean? So I think that there's things you can do some of the old school workouts that you may not do anymore. I told I said, "Yo, you got to go old school, you know?" Yeah. And um and not that not that I'm such a big fan of his that I didn't have any encouraging words for for Caleb, but you know I'm just I am, and um, I've known those guys for so long that it's hard for me. You know, we ended up on the phone, and yeah. I say, hey man, um, you know, do this. I'm glad I don't have to rake leaves anymore. That's my takeaway. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think it's a I I think you made a good point of I think a, a, I don't want to dis disrespect him by saying he's not in his prime now, but he's he, I think he'd admit it. He's, and dog is not in his prime yeah, now. However. Yeah. The one thing, the reason why he's called Ant the Dog is because he's he had dog. this ferocious uh, um, persona, persona, style, he, aggressiveness, like he, this mentality. He had yeah. a really aggressive mentality. Yeah. You take a look at the animosity that he has towards Caleb. I don't think there's going to be any moment in the ring where he's not going to want to hurt Caleb. And, and as, as long as he's able to make that energy kind of work itself for him, yeah. it'll keep him invested in wanting to win the fight. I had. And, and it'll be interesting. Animosity towards Badu Jack for beating Anthony Durrell. That's how big of an Anthony Durrell fan <laughs> I am, just full <laughs> disclosure. But, um, yeah, yeah, I think I was going to say, I think a young, a younger Anthony Durrell, I would feel more confident just yeah. from, I mean, yeah. it kind of is what it is. But, yeah, he's he's going to be tough for Caleb to deal with. I, I, I'm... I may be lean Caleb, but I'm not sure. And the one main reason why I, I feel like Caleb's looking past this guy. You think Caleb so? is looking? I need Canelo again. I got to get through Benavides. Nah, no, nah. he's got uh, Bradman in his corner. I mean, like, yeah. And let's talk about the other side of that. He's got Caleb's got Bradman Edwards in his corner now. Bradman is a X's and he's no longer kind of guy. He's 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 he makes adjustments. He game plans for the fighter. We this is. This is what we're gonna use. You're great at that, but we don't need it for this one. So move. Okay. Yeah. We're not using it. This okay. is what we're using to beat this guy. If something happens in the ring and we need something, boom, we can go to it. You know, he's that's the kind of guy that that Bradman is. So I know that they've game plan very well for uh, for uh, Anthony Durrell, uh, Caleb. You know, just just having the new baby and everything kind of going the way that he needs it to. Outside that's a lot of, of distractions. Course. Well, outside of that loss yeah. to to Canelo. Caleb has always been a very focused and very determined fighter, so I can't imagine. And also, I, I even have conversations with uh, with Mrs. Plant. I'll go ahead and call yeah. Jordan Mrs. Plant, yes. where she was asking me, like, hey, how'd you guys do it? 
she's really been wanting a baby. So she's not going to allow any of that to get in the way of, of Caleb's goals. You yeah. know what I mean? So the fact that they've, that they have had the baby and all this, I think that Caleb is in a very good place. And I, I think it's going to be really good. You say that at the same time, I see my man getting a Twitter war with a, I mean, no disrespect to the dude, but that doesn't matter. It's who he is. You got you to focus. You want to yeah. be a world champ? You, ever, who, seen, you it, ever seen Floyd Mayweather argue with somebody on Twitter? I, and I'm name dropping my ass off today, but Coach Wade said, hey, I just had to get, I had to get past it. I would come up to Caleb at, at, a, at a training session. Hey, man, I see you doing this, doing that. Let it go. Caleb's like, I, 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 this is who I am. I just, I got to do it. That's, and, a, that's, that's a little different between good and great. Yeah, yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. could be. I, I think, and I'm Nidor. I, I was gonna say, I'm, <laughs> yeah, listen, let me shut that down. Yeah, I, I you're think, a great plumber, man. I, I think it's, hey, stop stop I, I think it's gonna, stuff. I think it's gonna be interesting <laughs> to see because I think Anthony Durrell is a pretty versatile fighter. Yeah. When you look at when you look at it. Yeah. And so I think that will make it a tougher night for Caleb than maybe some would expect. Like, mm -hmm. oh, Caleb, he's younger. He's this boxer from the outside. He'll just box his ears off and, and move on and do whatever. I think Anthony Durrell has a lot more tools than people realize. Maybe. I think Anthony, he does have tools. I think he's got to use them all. Can't, yeah. leave, can't leave anything in the locker room. Stay mean. And don't be overly aggressive, but be aggressive. Yeah. Even if you aren't punching in Caleb's face, fainting him, and making him feel uncomfortable. If you, if you get an uncomfortable Caleb plant, you got some. You got something yeah. to, to work with. And is the, is the key for Caleb as simple as just... Box on the outside like you do so well. I <laughs> Caleb, do, Caleb, do what you do. Yeah, because yeah, it, that's it's, basically and it always there's there's these fights where it sounds simple. It's like, yeah, just just do that. Caleb, like, Plant, just do what you do the best. Hey, Caleb playing against Canelo. A lot of people say, Anthony, I don't know what the hell you seen. Hey, man, I might have had him up. It was well, hey, it was up till he wasn't. Listen, Caleb's bigger than than at 168 than he's ever been. Yeah, um, stronger at 168 than he's ever been. So why we're saying, hey, box, box, box. It's a it, it, it could be a, a situation where he's boxing, he's yeah. he's moving, and and a counter right hand or a counter check hook puts in, in a in a position where Caleb can, can can take control, and I could see Caleb wanting to do things like that now. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I, I actually think that's a really good co-main. Yeah, main uh, event. Hey, happy what birthday, Ant Dog! He turns thirty eight on Friday. Yeah, happy at the way in thirty eight. I'm, I'm, hey man, chill, chill. That changed your whole decision. Dang. Chill, chill. You getting old too? Okay. Yeah. No. You're not. Peter Pan, son of a gun. He just very decisive. Delay reaction no. to your question. You said, "Does that change <laughs> yeah. your, your your thought?" No, it doesn't. Peter, that was a delay reaction. Peter Pan yeah, over here. Uh, yeah, because uh, I've been on record saying this: guys are you're in your prime, Longer. closer to 35 yeah. than you are closer to 30. Yeah. I think boxers so, also are, are their primes are a little stretched out now. They're able to yeah. stay. So um, I mean, once he gets done weigh in, I'm gonna say happy birthday. Yeah, please do. I'm gonna Please do it. Do I'm gonna do it. You gonna be there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I better be there. Oh. Main event. Any uh, any thoughts? This is the fight I thought you was talking about when you say we ain't got nothing but a sparring match. Yeah, because Hellenius and, and yeah, Deontay hey, I, Arley, I, I did say something crazy uh, a couple weeks ago. I said uh, this fight is probably gonna be as toughest fight than uh, Anthony Ruiz, Andy Ruiz. After watching some tape on my man Hellenius, how's that Hellenius? Yeah, but uh. Oh man, you got knocked out by Jared Washington. With with what punch? <laughs> right hand. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then you got you got beat up. I mean, you lost a decision, split decision to Dillian White. Dillian White, and then and another then, uh, guy. the French guy. Yeah. Do help us. This yeah. guy is a journeyman that just happens to actually travel to everyone else's countries and sit. And he's he's just tough. He's like them. a you know he's in the, tough in the in the what the fifteen hundred uh, explorer. Yeah. He's like, I can't say that name, but he like one of them, just a, yeah. a Viking, a pirate, yeah. just going around. So and he he's coming off these two wins against Kalnachki. Yeah, he the the second one he was gassing out a, yeah. a, little, a little. Don't bit. gas against Wilder. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure he. I I guess their their familiarity with each other is an interesting angle. Yeah, he's been in Wilder's camp. That he's been in camp with him, but uh, I think it will be a. Deontay Wilder fight. I think he lays him out. <laughs> do, do, do we see him like kind of work on stuff, kind of what he did Deontay? in Tyson 3? Yeah. Do Absolutely. you see, do we see more? Yeah. We, do we see him more than just two or three rounds? Absolutely. Okay. Well, if it lasts that long. If it, I was going to say, yeah, as long as, as long as it lasts. Cause Wilder, Malik, Wilder, hey, you need rounds in, bro. <laughs> Don't clip him in the first. Because Malik, Malik Scott, there, <laughs> there's no way, there's no way Malik Scott doesn't have him work on some stuff. Yeah, That's he, that kind of guy. Remember when Sean Dad did sure. it? Told him, hey, hey, we need some rounds in. We need some rounds in, Sean. <laughs> no. 
Don't, don't clip him in the front. Past that. Clip him. Clip him. What do they say? Don't pay. They don't pay for overtime. <laughs> that's, that's what Deontay Wilder said. I never been in the ring, yeah, so yeah. If you want to clip him, catch a body, because he, he, I mean, do what yeah, you want. Yeah, that. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, I know. I, I thought about <laughs> it when I said. Let me that, bring it uh, back. What, is there anything that is especially intriguing about this to you, Sean? Absolutely. What's that? The fact that Deontay Wilder is coming off of his trilogy fight loss, second fight with uh, Malik Scott. They have been in camp f- virtually forever, getting ready for this. They're going up against a guy that's familiar with Deontay Wilder. I'm not going to say knows everything about Deontay Wilder, but I just think that this is this is a and it's going to be a somewhat competitive fight because both guys are big, strong, can 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 box. But I do believe that this is phase two of Deontay Wilder's boxing career. Okay, I think that Deontay Wilder has some things in place now that should have been in place a long time ago. That being Malik Scott, I think that he has. The perfect situation in Malik Scott. And I think that Malik, even in their loss mm-hmm. to Tyson Fury, they grew on mm-hmm. fight night. Absolutely. And I've said that so many times about guys needing experiences to get better. Blase, blase. Trainer I and fighter. Trainer and fighter. And I think that um, they grew from that fight. I think that they both learned a lot from that fight. I think that Deontay proved a lot to himself mm-hmm. while trying to prove things to the fans and to the audience. And I just think that he is going to be so much better. And I think that it starts with Robert Hellenius. I think Robert is big, strong, can box, can survive. Good all jab. of those things. Has a good jab. Yeah. You know, all of those things. But I'm I'm intrigued because I believe that this is kind of the second coming of Deontay Wilder. And I'm just so intrigued to see what it looks like. The other side of that, of course, we're talking to, to Zatel. He says, hey. You just have to be curious as to what three fights with Tyson Fury has done to you, what it's built yeah. from you. And um, one thing, just to um, uh, rebuttal what, what Zatel said to me, I said, hey, we know that historically it, it, it's just a fact that heavyweights age differently yeah. than, 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 than any other weight class. And they're susceptible to more damage than the other mm-hmm. weight class. I think, if anything, we've, only, we've seen the repercussions – uh, a lot stronger in yeah. the heavyweight division, unfortunately. But just saying all that to say, I think that he's still healthy, and I'm super, super excited to see what yeah. he's got. I think we're gonna see a great jab. We're gonna see great. I, I'm, I'm excited. Ener- energy was great when we saw both of them yeah. at uh, at uh, Luis Ortiz's media workout. Yeah. One thing, and this, and this is just me being an idiot, but so when it comes to the sparring familiarity, this is just my theory. Okay. Is Deontay's power probably something you wouldn't feel that much in sparring because he's not going to uncork an absolute bomb of a right hand in sparring? Yeah, uh, that's Because I feel true, like Carson. in sparring, you you probably get a good feel for somebody's tempo and some of their power. But I don't – and maybe, again, I've never been in the ring. I never will be in the ring. Shout out to Fox. <laughs> um, some information I'm waiting to come from them for work next week, but – the question that I asked, you about snitch? And I, no, no, no. The question that I asked, and I didn't look this up myself. I'm, I'm, I'm lazy in this respect, and is what it is. But I said, has Robert Hellenius been in camp with Deontay Wilder since Deontay's been with Malik Scott? You have to understand that there's just complete regiment, different regiment now. There's a cre- completely different program now. You gotta understand that Deontay Wilder is boxing differently. He's moving differently. He's using his speed and his power differently now. So the Robert Hellenius that he may have seen before. It's just completely different from the from uh, the Deontay Wilder. That yeah, was yeah. last wasn't he, was it his last camp that he was in? I think he was in his last <laughs> camp, but I'm not positive. Okay, but with, with all that being said, if Robert has had an opportunity to see this new version of Deontay trying to use a jab, trying to use the ring and things like that, he may be a little bit more ready. So you didn't than, say I was stupid, but you also didn't co-sign. I didn't say you were stupid. I said you didn't. Oh yeah. Am I wrong to think that Deontay's not throwing a full power right hand in oh, sparring? Um, because that seems. Oh, I didn't. I didn't that seems realize. like you're gonna. I that was seems like you're gonna go through I, some sparring parts. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I feel like sparring is more heated the, the than thing. the fights. I think that used to be the thing where nobody was like making it through camp. Okay. And I think that like as he got better and matured so my, in the game, and so my like, theory kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because I was saying. I don't think Hellenius, for people that would say, oh, he's, he's sparred with him, yeah. he knows what it feels like. I don't think he's felt like the well, hammer from Alabama, like with he co- said. Yeah, and without headgear on. If he got clipped in camp, you, I ain't fighting this dude. Come on, man. That if you got funny. clipped with what, what, what ounce gloves? Ten ounce. <laughs> yeah, I, that, come on, man. You, you 
clip me in ten outs. What you fighting with? What's what's Sam's? No, fight? you're no. They fight in ten outs. What are they? What are they yeah, spar with? Spar. Oh, they're sparring. He's probably 16? sparring at eighteen. Hey, if you clip me in eighteen, yeah. sixteen. I'm not. I'm not showing up. I'm not showing up. But you start rumors, though. He, he the, didn't clip him. No, 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 no. I ain't saying he clip him. He sees the contract, and, he's, yeah. and he has a, just a flashback to that moment. He's like, you know what? I'm good on this one. Oh, you're saying Robert's not fighting. Yeah. yeah. yeah if I got clipped by you, I'm not fighting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah Thank I got you. you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. That would be it would be interesting, though. I just, I don't know. That's just my theory. That I think it's going to be a fun fight to watch. I do. So, obviously, Robert survived camp with Wilder. There's never... There's never a Deontay Wilder fight that's not exciting to watch. Nah, we always on pins and needles. Yeah, it's true. You literally yeah. are on pins and needles the entire it's time. True. Yeah. That's one where you're you, just waiting. You make You're the just wrong, waiting. You go yeah. to the, you go to get something to yeah. drink at the wrong time, and you walk back in there, and you're like, "Why is this guy folded in the corner?" This what, is literally what, what did they I miss? used to talk about when our parents used to talk about Tyson. Mike Tyson. Yep. If you miss one moment, you want to get something to drink. Get yeah. fights over. Could could be it. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it'll be a good night of boxing though. It's gonna be a busy day of boxing. What are we doing this week? What's the, what's the schedule? Yeah, what's your guys' schedule? What's, what's I schedule? assume we're waiting for Ant the Dog. Yeah, we're um, waiting on Ant the Dog. To all right, but what our schedule? Yeah, doing? Talk, um, we can talk schedule and also. We get in Wednesday? Yeah. Don't tell people when we get in. We get in Tuesday? <laughs> They're actually in New York right <laughs> now as you're here. Yeah, we're, we're, already, we're live. Because it comes New out York on City. Tuesday. This is Saturday Night Live. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. I'm excited about this one. So Wednesday when we get in, mm-hmm. I reached out to, to Sway, and um, we're going to do – Brooklyn uh, or Bridge Business with Sway. Okay. So y'all want to tune in. Wednesday we'll be live on the Portaway Podcast, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, with Sway and Horse uh, doing Bro- Horse. Brooklyn, uh, doing uh, Bridge Business. I keep calling it Brooklyn. Doing Bridge Business. And we're just going to talk boxing. We're going to, of course, talk this card and, and all those other things. And uh, I'm excited about this one because, man, this is kind of – there's, now we get an opportunity to kind of work on that crossover business that I've been mm-hmm. talking about doing for a minute. Business. I see what you did there. Yeah, you see what I did. I'm telling so you. We, we get an opportunity <laughs> to work on that, and uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, uh, the rest of the schedule is kind of still we're depending on whatever Fox has to do. So we'll make sure that we make all the announcements coming next week. When barbershop? We, do, we got a barbershop? We do have a barbershop. We got a, we got the um, barbershop dropping? pre-fight show. We're going to do that Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at... Uh, Brooklyn Blends. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Blends. Brooklyn Blends is uh, 235 Fifth Ave, Brooklyn, uh, New York, 11215. You need a haircut, pull up, I'll pay for five. Oh, there you go. Damn it. Sean, one. Oh, come on, New York. Pay for six. Hey, New York, don't be trying to hit me with $100 a haircut. Okay, you got a limit. Yeah, did, 20, you, did 20, you check $30. their price before yeah, you make I that thought, proclamation? Yeah, <laughs> man. So you, guys, you, you got five on it? I'll pay five shout, haircuts. Shout out to Lunas. Yeah. Um, so... So, gar- so not. I don't want to say guarantee because some things <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. tend to happen here. <laughs> but so, prospectively, Wednesday, yep, with Bridge Business, Bro- horse Wednesday and sway. with Br- with Bridge Business, Sway and Horse, live four p.m. Mm-hmm. Tune in to the Portaway Podcast YouTube channel, and then Saturday, and then Saturday Brooklyn we will be Blends. at Brooklyn Blends, ten a.m. ten a.m. Uh, they said, hey, anybody's welcome to come in. We're gonna kick it. They've been excited because we were supposed to do. Uh, we were supposed to do um, oh, John, the break, uh, Paul, the Paul, Paul. brother, ah, hey, um, nice Paul right. and um, and uh, Rock. Rock we were supposed to do that fight, so I hit him back up, and he's like, "Let's go!" Okay, so they excited. We're gonna have some great fun out and then there. In maybe Brooklyn. some other shows that will pop up, but TBD. Yeah, yeah well, no, we're gonna have some other shows. We're doing a weigh in and then the press conference. Ant will be all alone this week. No, no, I got, I got guests. He got I already guests. got people coming okay. to help me. Uh, go. But he gonna be all alone without me because I will be with Fox. And, and so uh, we, we're, of course, going to do the weigh-in show. We're going to do the uh, the press conference show as well. Okay. Uh, shout out to Swanson Communications. They took care of us as always. Yeah. Gotcha. And, um, we, and if, we're looking forward to it. If you're week. in New York, I'll actually, if you're not acting like an idiot, I'll, I'll have fans on. I'll give you five, ten minutes, you know, if you can you get go. past uh, security and stuff. Uh, if you, I mean, not acting like an idiot. And but, no, I'll help. I'll get fans on. You know, we'll talk talk about the fights a little bit. Let's see go. what we can do. And then, and I feel like this is a perfect time for me Uh-oh. to mention my New York thing. The Guardians playing the Yankees. You coming no, to New York? Absolutely not. <laughs> I was like, you I was guys, like, let's be honest. You got get off me. Oh, you guys man. should. If you don't have anything going on Thursday evening, I'm not going. The Guardians no, will be playing I'm the Yankees in Yankee no, Stadium. Give me a ticket. I'll go. That I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no Guardians, uh, youngest team in baseball. You trying to go, man? They swept. I'll put the, it on uh, my company tab Thursday. Yeah, I have to, so they I have to play. Check my schedule. They play Tuesday and Thursday. I think the next game will be in Cleveland, but. Yeah, youngest team in baseball, 
won the first two games of the Rays. Um, they had a super quick game one. Second game was 15 innings, scoreless right, baseball, but then right. they ended with a walk-off rookie. Um, yeah, exciting times, man. Baseball is one of my favorite sports. They so. showed him on the uh, Browns game today. Ramirez is his last uh, No, it was uh, Oscar Gonzalez. Oh, hit. Oscar Jose Gonzalez. Ramirez is their best player, though. Ah, I got you. Then, uh, yeah, Tristan McKenzie. Yeah, it'll be fun, though. Yankees are tough. Um, and one thing. I uh, might try to slide. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to uh, New, uh, New York Knicks uh, pregame. Okay. Pro, or uh, preseason game. What is this? See how I turn what my back. This? As I said. Well, that, and and while, while, while you were kind enough to give me this platform, let me just say this. So the Guardians play the Yankees. Aaron Judge hit 62 home runs this season, breaking the American League record from Roger Maris. For anyone watching this that has any question, he's not the all-time single-season home run leader. I'm sorry. Who is he's it? not. Who is Barry it? Bonds. Oh, hey, I don't I care what Carson, you think. Carson. Barry Bonds hit 72 oh, home runs. I don't, I don't care watch, what I don't you watch think. boxing no more. Bo- I was ba- like, baseball. this podcast I watch ba- really went off yeah, the rails. I don't watch baseball no more, but yeah. I keep seeing this. I'm like... Didn't Barry like Jack Barry Bonds way more? 73. So so Judge breaks Roger Maris' record, which was and then Mark McGuire hit more. McGuire Sosa, and Sosa hit more. Okay, I thought it was and true. So Why are they making such I a big deal about it? Because those guys are linked with PDs, ah, yes. so they're like, yeah, well, this is. And then Roger Maris' son was like, well, he now we have a clean champion. I don't care what you think, and you know how I feel about PDs. Barry Bonds, yeah. a might be the best baseball player ever, and b. He, I, I watched it. I saw hey. it happen. He hit 73 home runs in a <laughs> and season. And he never tested positive. Yeah, and he has the all-time record for career, too. People are like, yeah, but. I'm like, no, there is no but. Yeah. So there's no debate. <laughs> the home run king is Barry Bonds. I don't care how you feel about it. He is the home run king. Sorry. And, Tough and also your favorite baseball player, right? Or Barry Bonds? Of? Yeah, or one of. Um, favorite hitter? You said no, something. I think he's one of the best players ever. Oh, I thought you said something about him being like your, one of no, your favorites he, or something. I mean, I was hitting bombs, hey, man. Hey, but favorite, my favorite, favorite player of all time, Juan Pierre. Favorite baseball player, Tripper Jones. Tripper Jones was good. Tripper Jones and Andrew Jones. Yeah. Andrew Jones was Mark the McGuire? youngest player Mark, in baseball when what, he came up. Yeah. Who's your favorite player? Hershiser. What's his name? Who? Earl Hershiser. I did not Earl, I did not Hershiser. expect the shot you, you, to the look, you, look like a, you look like a Fred McGriff guy. Now, I don't even know Fred McGriff. Number one, <laughs> Kenny sport, number one sports nickname for me of all time, Fred McGriff, the crime dog. I didn't even know that was his name. Oh, the, the grip. I yeah. got it. I didn't even know that was his nickname. Yeah. We're waiting on... Uh, do, we, we, do we, do we want to do uh, amateur boxing champions while we wait? Yeah, let's do that real quick. Um, First of all, we're here. Let's do this. Let's do the Patreon. We want to... We want to continue to promote the Patreon. We're yeah. about a week to two weeks out from our uh, studio being um, finished, Complete. built up, completed, all those kinds of things. Please subscribe <laughs> to your Patreon. Were you waving to somebody or hitting a fly? <laughs> all right, man. It was something, something, that little thingy in your little eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then RivalBoxing.us. Um, we want to thank Rival for the, uh, the partnership that we uh, entered with them. Uh, some some months back now. I think it's been about two months. Rivalboxing.us. You put in um, our promo code TPWP15. You get 15% off the gloves, off the shoes, the gloves? off the hand wraps. There's we a still, lot of things. There's we're only still a working few, on getting the gloves out. There's only, yeah, 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 still working on it. Some people got some <laughs> CAM signed gloves from the 100th episode going their way. <laughs> there's, uh, there's only a few select items that you do not get. That uh that discount for but just about everything on there fifteen percent off TPWP fifteen okay when you uh, go on to uh, rivalboxing dot uh, yeah. rivalboxing dot us yeah. um if you're ever looking for Carson A Merck because you know you're not on the show every day <laughs> go to Instagram Carson A Merck let's do this real quick with uh with <laughs> our right. amateur boxing champions yeah try to keep it as short and brief as possible but I said to myself how can you broaden the base of boxing and what I what I learned for myself was people were got connected to boxing through me, obviously Carson, uh, other friends and family. You you guys being close to me, of course, yeah. you would support what I do. But there's other people that I've come in contact with, and they 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 appreciate me in the ring. A lot of them appreciate me appreciate me outside of the ring. But one thing that I, that I've learned through the course of my time as a professional, when people saw my story, when people saw the father and son with myself and my dad, and they saw my dad's story. It got people invested, got people to root for us and want us to want to see us successful in and out of the ring. And so I said to myself, how can we get people invested in boxing? Let's get them connected to these fighters at a younger age, much sooner than when they become professional world champions. So if we can show the clip right now. We were in uh, Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center, and we uh, interviewed uh, – 
30 minute, 30 to 40 minute in-depth interviews with um, everyone who is looking to become or be on the 2024 Olympic boxing team. So we we got um, in-depth profiles and we're going to start putting all that together. We got some editing that we need to do, but I don't have an ETA right now. Next week, I'll have an ETA on when you can expect um, amateurboxingchampions.com and the app as well to really be blasting and moving and becoming great. And we start here in the United States, but hopefully we make this thing international really, really soon. You guys will see all of those uh, Roy Joneses and Mayweathers and Tysons and Deontay Wilders and Whitakers and, and all those great things uh, much sooner than um, before they become a world he, a world uh, professional champions. Shout out to DDA. Yeah, and yeah. you <laughs> and shout out to DDA. We'll be seeing him in just a couple of days. Yeah, we yeah. had a great time, man. Uh, and there's Zytel. See. So for everyone that yeah. says you didn't see him on the podcast today, yeah. you yeah. lied. Zytel, yeah, Zytel still around. I I I, I got a good team. And um, I'm just pushing forward, trying to make big things happen, definitely for this sport. All that being said, where the hell is Anthony Durrell? <laughs> I don't know. And, dog, you know, and Now always. my pick is going even stronger hey, hey, for Caleb. Hey, no, no, let's get, <laughs> let's get back to this uh, uh, New York Knicks preseason for, uh, game. Yeah, SP, so, you're going to be at the Garden? We, you're going to be at the Mecca? You're going right. Friday? I got connections, and my connections hit me up, and they said, hey, would you, would you like to go to a game? I committed, and I don't even. All right, I'm, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab me and my guy two tickets. Oh, oh when are we going Friday? Friday. Damn, I, mean, I gotta get three tickets. All right, Friday. It's all. Hey, on, jump on the link real quick. It's, it's all. It's all on the uh, the company. Hey, if you when you get a company, you can write all type of stuff. <laughs> hey, shout out to the uh, IRS. Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, I didn't say that. I'm this. I'm talking about Sean Porter's company. <laughs> We're gonna go down I just together. Think, baby. I just think I of. Uh, I just, yeah, we're going well, down I together. Think, I think you're, you're my co-owner. You're, uh, obviously, we're both Seinfeld fans. When he's talking about write-offs. He said, you don't know what a write-off is. Yeah, they just they just write it off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that ain't, that ain't work. But, I thought about you uh, the other day. Like, you do your own taxes still, don't you? No, nah, no. Uh, you, or not, or not I, anymore. I was, but now, no. This is this is horrible. Uh, we're in a whole this is horrible. <laughs> no, 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 man. By the way. Nah, sometimes you got to take hey, a chance so start your own company, man. Cool, huh? Yeah, you never did taxes? Yeah, but I don't, I'm not sure the fans care much about our taxes. You ain't never yeah. did your own taxes? Every year. Oh, yeah. he No, he's... Uh, mine, mine are easy. Was that, was that app? Yeah, that's oh, my thought oh, yeah, about him last apps. night. Oh yeah, I'm one of the apps. Yeah, nah, yeah I'm not. Yeah, mine aren't very complex. I had a meeting. I can't. Do, I can't be doing that no more. But, so I'll be in prison in five years. So you guys. So I would be very proud if you guys went to the Yankee game. I won't lie to you. I'm not I going know, to the Yankee. I know. I you want to do? A, I'm not doing well, that. I, I personally am a little bit more invested in that. That well, and actually, perfect. Here we go. And yeah, I was. I told you it's before Thursday. we get to our guest. Yeah, Thursday. But when I said on a previous episode that. Nothing stresses me out. Playoff baseball, absolutely an exception. Whole game, I was watching like this. I was like, oh, God. But is our guest on the line there? Yeah, everybody, welcome to the Portaway Podcast. Anthony the Dog the Real. We need a, we need a, we need a applauding button. Or something. <laughs> what up, big dog? What's up, baby? What's up? Oh, I ain't know you knew how to smile. Yeah, yeah. Everything I've been, er, everything I've been seeing, been been the been the opposite. Man, you know you gotta you gotta uh, you know it's just the moods you get in, man. It's fight moods, so you know how them you know how them moods is. We did a I did a um production meeting with Fox, and I told them, I said a lot of times, or not a lot of times, but most of the time, guys are showing animosity or they're showing that they dislike somebody. And just to sell the fight or just to, because they do feel that way. But then when they get in the ring, all of that kind of dissipates and it becomes, oh, uh, let me operate the way that I always operate and kind of leave that animosity out of the ring or yeah, out of the ring. Um, what's the situation here, big dog? Like, and, and I know you and I, we've talked offline about this, but is this, is this truly a situation where you like, it's it's him or me, but but it ain't gonna be me. Uh, somewhat. Uh, I, I just don't like you know we we fighters. Uh, Sean, we fighters at the end of the day. Uh, I'm fighting no just more. like basketball players, fo football players. We, you know, we we got it. We got to kind of stick together. We risking our life to get in this ring, yeah, and uh, and entertain people. Uh, and for for me, you know, outside the ring, you be cordial. 
I'm not saying let's go out, let's hang out, let me come over your house, let's do this, let's do that. Be cordial, respectful. Uh, he just not, you know. And it, it 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 hit me some type of way, man, because at the end of the day, we like I say, we both risking our life to get in this ring and, and entertain people. So, mm. and at the end of the day, it's entertainment anyway, no matter which way you put it. Either you you doing this or doing that. So it just hit me some type of way, man. And uh, and you know, I, I just don't roll like that, man. You know, I I'm a, I'm I'm a uh, I was I'm I was about cool to ask, like, have you have you have you experienced like this before? And I, it's nothing new to me. Like most guys, it's just kind of it's the hey, what's up type of thing, and it's not we don't really have a great friendship, but right. you know, what I mean, there's no dislike either. And I, I was asked the question, you know, I've never been in the ring with somebody that I just didn't like and wanted to to be in the ring, wanted to get in the ring and beat them up. Like, is this a situation like you're kind of running into this for the first time as a fighter? Uh, I think so. Like, uh, Abney Yurdom was, he was like Aryan, but it was a different type of, 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 uh, uh, mad i guess or not i'm not even mad because nobody's getting me mad i'm not mad yeah. only my only i can get myself mad period point blank that's it but it, it's just the way you carry yourself you know outside the ring maybe people see it differently mm -hmm. uh but uh you know that's just how it is man he 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 acts like he's too cool i guess i don't know i don't know what what's wrong with the guy you know but you know, it's 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 corny to me. Hey, when you last thing for me, when when you look at the fight, do you look at it like there's nothing he can do to beat me, or or you know, is there just game plan? I stick to this game plan, and we good. Uh, it's game plans. It's game plans. Everything. Caleb, like I said, stress man. Caleb is a. I mean, he's a good fighter. He can box. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I can too. I, I've been I've been inspiring somebody that's. That can box for a long time. Uh, I, I don't inspire people like Caleb for a long time. Uh, but when it come, when it gets in the ring, it, it's going to be different. He think he's just going to get in there and probably pick me apart. But he got a lot of shit on his hands, man. Sorry for cussing, but he got a lot of stuff on his hands, man. Hey, I, I feel like, I mean, shout out to Caleb. Honestly, man, I feel like he fought two championship fighters, Jose and Canelo. You're, and then, then you'll be the third. The other ones, I'm just like, bro, what have you done? Those are not, those guys are not preparing you to fight the big dogs. So, but that, but that's, I, I, I sorry, sorry for go, cutting you go off. Ahead. That's what I've been asking. Even, even at the press conference, I, I, I asked him, who have he fought? You know, answer the question, who have he fought? Mm -hmm. He fought, I gave him credit for, for Uzutagi. He, everybody's seen it on camera. He's posting it like I didn't give him credit. I've been gave him credit for that. <laughs> and I gave him credit for Canelo. But a after them two, mm -hmm. who else has he fought? I mean, just name somebody. That's all I wanted him to do, and he couldn't. <laughs> he froze up and, 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 and went on. But it, it is what it is, you know. Like I say, I respect everybody that gets in that, in, in that, in, in that square circle, whatever you want to call it. I respect everybody because it's tough as hell to get in there. You got to be a warrior to get in there. You got to have heart to get in that ring because, like I say, people is dying left and right in, in our sport, and it's like it's just not happening. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but like I say, that respect going to go out the window once I get in that ring, man, and and, and show everybody what I already been new. How, how are you feeling just overall? Uh, obviously, you're I feel great, man. And, and happy early I, birthday. I actually feel Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel great. I, uh, man, I, I, I've been on weight for a long, for, for a minute, you know, uh, not on weight, but I'm there, mm -hmm. uh, you already you could be happy, you know, eating every, yeah. I'm still eating, you know what I'm saying? Like I was when I came to camp, but it's, you know, it's just hard work. It's, it's dedication, man. If you, if you push yourself to, to, to get somewhere and, and keep pushing, I mean, can nothing defeat you? Only you can defeat you. That man in that mirror, the only one that can defeat you. Period. Hey, hey um, your brother came. Did he tell you he came out here and sparred with me before I fought Terrence? Mm, I don't know. I don't think. It don't I don't even, know. I can't remember. It don't even matter. He lit my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> did he you? Down, he down here too. He. I, uh, did, I was wondering if you sparred with him. Fight. I was wondering if you sparred with him for this. I fight. do. I do spar with Dre. Yeah. I spar with him. 
Man, he lit my ass up, man. I got it on on camera and everything. If I would have known that, I would have picked Bud by stoppage. But (laughs) (laughs) yeah, I I spar Dre. I spar. I I got a few people I spar, man. That and it's and it's uh it's great work, man. And I'm just happy to be in this position, Sean. I mean, happy to breathe a a breath another day, man. I'm Mm -hmm. happy for God waking me up, man. It's a blessing that I even get to do the sport that I like. For sure. Hey, do, you all, do you almost, sorry to cut you off, man. Do you almost feel like you're uh, maybe catching like a second win? Not not that you were ever, you know, out of it, but you ever, do you feel like you're kind of rejuvenated a little bit? Obviously, great knockout in the last fight. Uh, I mean, people are going to talk just like he talks. Uh, 160 pounder, I guess he say, uh, but he couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, everybody keeps saying that with my draw with Kyron, I think I beat him. Uh, it's it just a lot of stuff, man. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. People had their opinion. You can't get mad at people's opinions, man. And, and a few years ago, I probably would. But now it's, you know, I, I'm getting to the place where I can't, you can't get mad at somebody's opinion. Somebody's opinion is their opinion, period, point blank. Just like I'm the underdog in a fight. It's it's people's opinion that put me at an underdog. But that just gives me fuel to keep pushing to to prove them wrong. And, and do you feel like, because, uh, you know, I, I keep hearing him talking about he won't Canelo again. He won't David. Is he looking past you? And if he is, is that a mistake? I mean, you know, people going to answer what they going to answer because they're mm-hmm. getting asked a question. But, you know, I, I don't think he's looking past me. I okay. think he's I think he's focused on on on, on, uh, on me. But, you know, I hear I hear things, a lot of things, mm-hmm. man. You know, I know he's uh, he got hurt a couple of times with Smyrna. Oh, okay. Uh, this fight by a 160 pounder. I don't think he's sparred no nobody heavier than 154. That's just you know what I'm hearing. Hey, Ant, you so, sni- you snitching right right now? We don't we don't do snitching on here. <laughs> oh, I ain't snitching. <laughs> no, but he got hurt. That ain't snitching. That's just what I heard. Okay. I ain't snitching on nobody. I don't know who told me. <laughs> okay. But I hear all right. It. All right. <laughs> he said, I hey man, I I say uh, like I said, I feel like you're the third toughest fighter he he fought. And, I mean, in those two fights where he fought other championship fighters, one, he got knocked out, and the other one, he was hurt and struggling. So, I mean. Yeah. Even, even, but you got to understand, even with Caleb Truax, he was, he yeah. was, he, you know, mm-hmm. he was getting touched up a little bit. But it, it's, like I say, it's boxing, man. You mm-hmm. know, styles make fights. Sean mm-hmm. can contest to this. Styles make fights in every fight, period, point, bang, no matter what you do. You can fight a guy that somebody knocked out, and and, and it changes, you know, with, with the style. But man, my mentality right now is so strong, man, and, and I'm so confident that I'm gonna uh, win. Like it, it's ridiculous, man. I'm so ready to fight right now, right. man. I've been in camp almost. I've been in camp two and a half months. I've been going away from my family two and a half months, man. He's get to see his family. He's comfortable right now. Mm. He keep being comfortable. That's what I want because I'm not, man. Okay. I'm not comfortable my, at my, all. My personal request is a John Connor walkout song. That's I'm just putting it out there. That's what I need. <laughs> I don't care if he walks you out. Yeah, I just I need know, I need man. John Connor on there. Best in the world. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I know. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing here, man, honestly. Hey, and <laughs> yes, yeah, how I was. My last fight, I, I think we, we put my thing together like two weeks before the fight. And uh, who's the camp now? Who's the what? Who's who's in your camp now? Who's 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 coaching and all that good uh, stuff? Uh, Sugar Hills coaching. Uh, I got uh, BB Hudson as strength and condition coach. Okay. Uh, and then he's my cook and stuff also. Yeah. So, uh, but that's it. You know, same people as I always have. Locked and loaded. Uh, man, I, I'm ready. I'm Diggy. ready. I Diggy. can't wait. Hey, man, we'll see you next week. All right. I wanted to get you All right, on. I appreciate it. Wanted to wanted to uh hear uh hear hear you speak, man. Just see you real quick, and uh that all that good stuff, man. So you look great, and uh, we are definitely looking forward to the fight. Oh, last thing from me, um, do you think this fight steals the show? I think so. I think I think we are because we can be a main event at yeah. the end of the day. We could be a anybody knows that we could be a main event, yeah. and people can talk. Yeah. You know, I hear him. Oh, this fight, boo! Nobody want to see this, but it's a fight for sure. Uh, I think, I think we still, I think we do still the show. All right, the reason why I ask that, man, is because you know, if you know where the bar is, you know what you need to do to get to it. 
Yeah. Spill the show. Yeah. Appreciate you, big dog. All right. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Talk later. Yeah. He, he, he locked and loaded. He ready to go. Motivation at the end. Well, yeah, you, I see you. Do you have an additional motivational yeah. ending here? Or was that it? You know the bar, you know how to get to it? Um, Perfect. All right. Yeah. So when, when, oh, I got some. When, when life well, go ahead. You, you, have you got something? Hell, Hell no. I, 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 so Hell I, well, no. I know when you guys started to do like where you pass around a little bit, I was yeah. like, mine was I just going to be a, mine yeah. was a lyric for sure <laughs> coming like what bound to have laps and judgment if your mind's racing. I don't know what that is. Laps. No, um, always having a higher expectation of yourself than anyone else. Um, always expect more of yourself than anybody is asking you for. I, th- and I think that's pretty much how you live your life. Yeah. Um, you get a call at 8 o'clock at night. You're doing yeah. the best you can to, to make it happen. Yeah. If not, you on the first thing in the morning. You have yeah. a, a, an expectation of yourself. That way, when people come after you or come for, come to you for something, you're always ready for it. And it starts with you. Mm-hmm. It always start with starts with you. So guys out there, women out there, have an expectation for yourself. Kids out there, have an expectation of yourself and never lower that expectation. You guys have a blessed day. This is-